that's a good joint. Hey guys, this is my review for Black KK Klansman, a new film, or a, a joint, by Spike Lee. And I'm very happy to say that this guy has finally made a good movie again. I'm just saying that the last few movies he's made have not been the best. One of them particularly was The Miracle at St. Anne. That movie was so boring. He made it as kind of a retaliation to Clint Eastwood not having enough black actors, supposedly in The Flags of Our Fathers. And so he's like, I'm gonna make my own World War II movie, and it was boring, and like three hours long. But Black K.K. Klansman is a return to form. It's a mixture of kind of his new work as well as his old. There's a lot of elements from the stuff that he did before, like Do the Right Thing, but there's also some camera and tech elements that are used from films like Inside Man. The film follows a new rookie cop, Ron Stallworth, an African-American man who joins the police force of the Colorado Springs area. And through his own determination, his own hubris, and his stubbornness, he actually gets into the KKK via phone call. And what ensues is a mixture of hilarity, incredible, uncomfortable feelings that relevate to what's happening today, and a very unbridled look at racist forces and the means on both sides. Now, I hate to sound like you know who was saying that, but I'm saying with people, say, African Americans on the side of the police force, and then in this case, there is a girl that he's interested in who is with a, a black student union society and she views all police as pigs even though he is trying to help her he is infiltrating the kkk to make sure that they do not do heinous shit like in fact attack prominent members of the african-american community and there is this constant conflict this is circle conflict throughout the film and it does a great job of portraying the pros and cons of both sides in terms of how each other, the law and say Black Lives Matter, deal with each other. Now the guy who plays Ron Stallworth, I admit I actually have not seen him really in anything, but he does a fantastic job. He does a great job kind of conflicting his feelings as well as being a determined cop. But on the same side, we see this human element of him with the girl that he's interested in from the Black Student Union Society and this constant conflict between his jobs, what he's trying to do, and her ideals and her motivations and her philosophies. And it's a really cool conflict throughout the film. Also his relationship with Adam Driver, who is the cop who plays the white version of him at these KKK meetings is fantastic. Their chemistry is very good and Adam Driver once again proves himself to be a very commendable actor. He is probably one of the best parts of the film in terms of what happens to him, the interactions that he has with members of the KKK, and just how well and how fluid he hides his inner feelings and he's just a really good undercover cop in the film and again the film does not hold back any of the tendencies in terms of racist ideals and what the KKK comprise of and there is one scene that actually really made me feel uncomfortable it's when one of the head prominent members of this chapter and his wife are lying in bed and they're talking about blowing up a uh, uh, gathering and they are so calm and so serene and so loving in their conversation about something that is filled with hate and violence and death. It is such an uncomfortable scene. It is kind of funny at first, just how casually they're talking about it, but then it just gets under your skin. What the scene is, is giving you a window into how casual these racist extremists can be about something as blatant as killing people. The film does not hold any punches back, and I enjoyed it for that reason. And admittedly, it must have been very kind of awkward with Spike Lee, an African-American director, standing off to the side while filming a bunch of white guys in hoods burning a cross and saying white power. 
but Spike Lee doesn't hold that back. Now, admittedly, the film is trying to correlate a relevance between what happened back then, what's happened throughout history, and what's happening again now. And he does that full-fledged with the ending, and you'll understand what I mean when you watch it. And I actually have to admit, that made me again feel very uncomfortable, but it's an uncomfortableness that is what is is today. So in the end, I very much enjoyed Black KK Klansman. I would definitely suggest it someone who is interested in history, as well as kind of seeing how the past still relocates to today. So in the end, I'm going to give The Black KK Klansman a 6 out of 7. It's a fantastic film, it's a great historical film, and Spike Lee did a good movie again. Woo, good for him. Anyways guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.